Hello Year 11, welcome to the Sixth Form Taste of Day presentation. My name's Rowena Hector and I'm the Assistant Head and Head of Sixth Form here at Ashton Park School. Many of you already know that our Sixth Form relaunched last year, so you're joining us at a really exciting time. You can expect loads of opportunities for personal development, a sense of being part of something really special and new, and you'll be playing a vital role in school life. It's such a great shame we couldn't run our sit-form taster day in person this summer, which would have allowed you to meet sit-form tutors, your subject teachers and other sit-form students. However, hopefully this presentation, the student handbook, the videos and the other resources we've uploaded will give you a good flavour of what to expect when you start in September. In this presentation, I'm going to briefly discuss a range of information that would have been available if we'd had this day in person, including what a typical sick form day might look like and the types of support and guidance available to you at Ashton Sixth. All of the information I'm going to discuss is available in the sick form handbook and I'm happy to answer any queries you may have about starting the sick form this September. So who's who in the sick form? So you've got me, Miss Hector, head of sick form, Tanya Thomas is our sick form administrator, Cathy Gemmett, our careers advisor, if you're coming from Ashton Park School, I'm sure many of you would have met Cathy Jarrett before. So in Ashton 6, all students in year 12 and 13 can expect several one-to-one -one careers consultations every year, as well as lots of workshops and external speakers. We also have our fantastic sixth form tutor team, Mr Moon, Mr Reese, Mrs Sims, Miss Reynolds and Miss Robinson. Your sixth form tutor is probably one of the most important people you're going to meet in the sixth form. They're going to be there to support you during your two years with your studies, with any personal matters and to help you prepare for your future as well. They're also the person who will write any external references for you. At Ashton Sixth, we're also lucky enough to have two associate tutors, Mrs Wilson and Mrs Weiselberg. They will tend to work with students on a one to one basis um, in registration time, for example, helping you write your university admissions personal statement or perhaps providing some extra pastoral care should you need it. In addition to that, we have two sick form mentors, Mr Watts and Mrs Jenkins, who also provide specific study support for students. If you'd like to meet the sick form tutor team, um, you can download the link which we've uploaded with the sick form induction resources and they've recorded a little welcome message for you. Form day is structured very much like the rest of the school, although there are some key differences and privileges for sick form students. At Ashton Sixth, we very much believe in focus mornings, so all students are expected to attend registration four days a week at 8.45 until five past nine in the morning. Wednesday is the only exception when students don't have to come in for registration, and this is when tutors will meet to discuss your progress. All students are expected to remain on site until lunchtime at 1.35, when you're free to go if you don't have a period five lesson. Sometimes students leave the sixth form for lunch and then return for period five as well, which is absolutely fine as long as you sign in and out with your ID card. Here is an example of a typical sixth form timetable. So you'll notice in yellow, it says enrichment each Wednesday, period five. Enrichment is an hour of your week, we want you to expend doing an activity which is outside your academic curriculum. You will get to choose what you do each term, but it might be something like Gold DV, Sport with Mr Moon, a Sports Leaders Award, Textiles or EPQ, just to name a few. You'll also notice quite a few white blocks around. So these are spaces when you don't have any lessons and when you'd be expected to do some independent work. Um, you'll see that a couple of those are titled supervised study, which means a member of teaching staff will be on hand to support you with your work in P10 during those times. It's recommended that sick formers complete a minimum of four hours independent work a week per subject. So it's really important that you use your free time wisely to catch up with any work you've been given so you have less to do in the evenings. All sick formers and staff are expected to wear lanyards at all times. This is important because it means that staff are able to recognise you as a member of the school community when you're on site and it also enables you to access the sick form block and all the facilities including laptops, toilets and classrooms. You can also use this to sign in and out electronically. All your lanyards will be issued in September when you arrive. 
We have a broad academic curriculum, Ashton 6, and the majority of Year 12s will be studying three A-level subjects. A minority might study four, and we'll also have some students that are studying a BTEC, which is worth two A-levels, in addition to a further A-level as well. Every single Year 12 will have the opportunity to complete the extended project qualification in the summer term of Year 12. The EPQ is worth half an A-level and gives you the opportunity to write an extended piece of writing um, which can be useful for employment and university admissions. As I've already said, all sixth formers will complete one hour rich a week of enrichment on a Wednesday period five, in addition to our guest speaker programme and our tutor programme as well. All GCSE retakes in English and Maths will be sorted out after GCSE results day, and you will find these on your timetable when you start in September. Progress you make at Ashton Sick is extremely important to us. Your subject teachers and our sick form mentors will be able to provide you with academic mentoring to help you achieve the best grades you possibly can in your courses. Myself and your tutor will speak to you regularly about your progress in registration and sometimes more formally in progress meetings to make sure you're staying on track. We also take well-being very seriously in the sick form. That's physical well-being and mental well-being. We recognise the transition from year 11 to year 12 is not always easy, and this is probably going to be particularly the case this year with the recent coronavirus outbreak. You'll find there are always plenty of people on hand to talk to, should you ever need to. During your two years with us, there'll also be plenty of support with deciding what you want to do after sixth form. We have an excellent university admissions programme and specific support for students who want to study more competitive courses. We have a strong track record in helping all our students achieve their first choice institution and we engage in lots of different outreach projects with local universities. Kathy Gemmett, our careers advisor, also has strong links with local businesses and apprenticeships and she can provide you with lots of support there, as well as loads of volunteering opportunities that we can provide in local primary schools and also on site in our own school as well. We also have a week's worth of work experience in the year 12, so you can be rest assured that you'll be fully supported in achieving your goals after the sixth form. One of the outreach programmes that we take part in is Access to Bristol, run by Bristol University. This usually involves year 12 students travelling to Bristol University once a week during enrichment on a Wednesday period five to engage in a university seminar of their choice. As well as giving them a taste of life as undergraduate students, they also receive a lowered conditional offer for the course they wish to study when they apply to university in the autumn term of year 13. We will provide year 12 with much more details about this programme and other similar programmes in the autumn term of year 12. Developing rounded internationally minded students is a key priority for our sixth form. We have loads of personal development opportunities throughout the academic year. These range from leadership roles in the student council, both domestic and international trips, volunteering, university courses and many more. As I'm sure you already know, this is a real strength of Ashton Park School and you'll hear much more about this when you start in September. Finally, I'd just like to draw your attention to the sixth form bursary. This is money we're given by the government to support students from lower income households. If you think you might be eligible, please contact Tanya Thomas and she'll help you complete a form. I hope you found this presentation useful and that you enjoy the induction resources. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to get in touch over the summer. Thank you very much for listening. Bye.